Hey everyone, it's Rochelle here with Losing It on Keto. Today what I have for you is a protein sparing modified fast pudding made with egg whites as well as with keto chow. So I've seen some recipes that aren't PSMF um, using this with, with whole eggs, but, uh, but the combination of the keto chow and the egg white um, I've recently made this with the chocolate toffee one and I really liked it so I wanted to do it again with two changes. Um, one, I wanted to use um, uh, a different keto chow, the beef protein base based on the core. So it's going to be chocolate. And then I added gore gum to my prior version and this time I'm going to cut it out. So that's the recipe I have for you. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do <clears throat> is I am going to uh, cook up uh, 10 egg whites, which in a carton of, um, so I'm just going to get this going here, in a carton of egg whites from uh, Costco, that's a, that's a whole carton. So that's what I have here. Um, I also know in perusing other recipes and such and instructions that you can make these egg whites um, in the microwave. That you can do um, one egg white per minute such that this would be uh, 10 minutes to make in the, um, in the microwave. But I don't know, that doesn't sound appealing to me. So I'm going to go ahead and make these in a skillet and I'm okay with with uh, cleaning the skillet once I'm once I'm done but this is a real real simple recipe um, that once you've got the egg whites done and I'm just gonna let that cook for a little bit once you have the egg whites done you just put it in a blender with the other ingredients and it's just a handful of ingredients it's really simple so um, what I have done, I'm debating whether to use the unsweetened or sweetened. I'm actually going to go with the sweetened keto chow. So <clears throat> what I want to do is it's one packet of keto chow to um, 10 egg whites. So um, I had taken all my individual keto chow core, the ones that are made in uh, beef protein, um, and I've put them in containers. So I'm going to weigh out 44 grams, which is the equivalent of, of one packet. And I'm using the stevia sweetened one. So let me get the 44 grams while uh, our uh, egg whites are cooking. So I'm just... Uh, weighing this out here behind the camera. Oh, perfect. Okay. And the other, the other ingredients is I'm going to make this with uh, with coconut milk unsweetened. And you can add additional sweetener if you feel it needs it. Um, when I made the, the chocolate toffee one, um, it didn't need it. And in the other one, and I'll show you this, I had seen a um, protein sparing modified fast recipe from 2007 from Jim Rats and they used guar gum for the recipe and I did it in the last one and I felt that this created too much too too much of a good thing I think and so I'm gonna it was way too thick almost rubbery so I'm gonna keep that out this time and you know on protein sparing modified fast I'm always looking to have 
as minimal of a recipe as possible. Because, you know, let's face it, we don't really know with these additives, you know, these gums and things like that, how much they, they affect our uh, fat loss. So to keep that uncertainty out, I always like to have as minimal of a recipe as possible. Okay, so these egg whites are coming together. Um, as I said, I've weighed out, this is 44 grams of the Keto Chow Core sweetened with stevia. And I need to get my Vitamix here or a blender. <clears throat> Any blender will do, but I've got the Vitamix. So I'm get this set up here. The last time I made this pudding, I um, had refrigerated the eggs for a day, but I don't think that's necessary. So I'm going to make this all up. Oops, I spilled a little. I'm going to have to clean the stove. Um, I'm going to make that all up here. The pudding's going to um, chill in the refrigerator anyways, because I'm not planning to have any of this until tomorrow. So where the last time I made it, I, um, I had a serving right after I made it. Okay, so the egg whites, egg whites are almost done. And what I do with these egg whites is I, they have a fair amount of liquid to them. So I use a paper towel to, um, to get off as much of the, uh, of the egg white as possible. Or get, get out, I should say. So this time, I'm going to anticipate this. I didn't do this last time, but this time I'm gonna put the uh, paper towels in the bottom to absorb all the liquid. Okay, so this is ready to go. And like I said, I'm just going to put my cooked egg whites right in the bowl here with the paper towel to absorb the excess liquid with them. And then I've got this pan to clean, but you can see it's going to come off pretty, pretty easy. Okay, let me rinse this while I'm here. Okay, so we'll keep making sure that we've got the, the liquid out of these egg whites. Okay, and now let me get the coconut milk. And I add just enough coconut milk. I mean, I don't, I don't measure it out. I just go by, go by um, texture site and I think it's about eight ounces, but like I said, it's more instinctual. So that's what we'll do here. So I'm just about out of the coconut milk, so I went to get a went to get another. And given that I'm doing chocolate, um, I'm going to add salt to this. No, I take that back. Uh, I remember when I added salt to the keto chow for the ice cream, it was too much. So I'm not going to do that, actually. I am because it's chocolate. I'm going to add cocoa powder to give it a little bit more of a chocolate, chocolate flavor. With the um, keto chow... Uh, chocolate toffee. I didn't add, I didn't add cocoa powder, obviously. One thing I found when I made the uh, chocolate toffee pudding, um, 
when I added a tablespoon of guar gum to this that it was even too much for my, it made it so thick, it, it was even too much for my, um, for my Vitamix. So I don't want to have that problem this time. So I'm hoping that alleviates it. But I think also, I think I should have put a little bit of liquid in the bottom. So I'm going to anticipate that this time to allow those blades not to get caught up in the... in the more solid mixture. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and put in our keto chow. And remember that keto chow has the acacia fiber in it that makes it creamy. And I found that I believe the keto chow core is creamier than, than the original. And that's odd because the original has more acacia fiber than, um, than the core. So I don't know, go figure. But I just, I can't believe the texture and the flavor coming from a beef protein based um, powder when it comes to these sweet offerings. Okay, so you can see how much liquid, I think you can see, I mean, th these paper towels, I've got it um, four deep. I mean, these paper towels are, are pretty wet. So I got out a fair amount of liquid out of these egg whites. So, okay, so now I'm going to dump the... Um, the egg whites into the blender here and I'll discard the paper towels that I use to absorb all of that liquid. And I'm just going to give this a little bit more of a splash of coconut milk. And then we're going to go ahead and and mix this. It doesn't take long to mix either. <clears throat> Let me move these out of the way. Okay, put the lid on. Turn our Vitamix on. And here we go. And I just remembered that um, I did not add any gelatin to this. And now I'm questioning whether I need it or not. And I'm going to tell you, this looks pretty darn thick. So I'm going to forego the gelatin. Yeah, I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to forego the gelatin. <clears throat> And I'll tell you that <clears throat> this has a little bit of a smell of the eggs, but after it chills, it, it loses that smell. So don't be put off if you're making this and you're finding that it has an egg smell because 
I don't know what happens, but um, chilling this takes care of that. Okay, so I just use these glasses here for it. <clears throat> and now let's let's evenly distribute this. And so let me see if I can give you a picture of. Can you see how creamy that looks? Look at that. You can see some of the steam coming off because the egg whites were hot. But but look at that. And this is what I was hoping for using the keto chow core over the original. I, I don't know why it's the case, but I find the keto chow core just more creamy. I found that when I was making the ice cream. And that's what gave me the idea to use this for an egg white pudding with, you know, minimal ingredients. And I have to say that it carried over nicely. Yeah, this is a much better texture than the one I made with the chocolate toffee. And you see, I'm, I'm making this in no time at all because this is real time. This video is not edited. So I wanted to show you how fast from cooking the egg whites all the way through, how fast you can, you can make this. So one thing I want to mention to you guys while I'm finishing scooping this out is that I've switched, I've, I've cut back on the um, ice cream, um, primarily because when I did my blood work, I don't understand this, I'm talking to a doctor on Wednesday about this, but when I did my blood work, it was showing I'm high in calcium oxalates which makes absolutely no sense to me because I'm following a low oxalate diet. And when that blood work, um, when I had the blood taken, that was before I had started consuming the ice cream. So, so I don't know what to, what to make of this, but I know um, having the almond milk in the ice cream doesn't help that. So... Um, so I've switched now to using coconut milk, and I don't have any ice cream made with the coconut milk. So, so I wanted to share that with you, that if you're making that recipe, be cognizant, because we know almonds have um, oxalates in them. It's one of the reasons why, actually, I cut out spinach in my diet, even though I like it. It's because I know spinach is high in oxalates. So I'm curious as to when I'm following a low oxalate diet, how my um, urine can be showing that. So I'll get the answers hopefully this week and pass that along to you. But anyways, there we have it. Four servings of this. And at the end of the video, I will um, provide to you the, the macros for this. But that's that's how easy it is. I've got four equal servings that I'll now chill and I made this in like 10 minutes or so okay so uh it like I said it doesn't get any easier than this and it's uh this recipe is absolutely perfect for protein sparing modified fast so if you followed my um my progress video the week 10 one where I was talking about muscle protein synthesis and such, um, and what, uh, in, in leucine, and what sources of uh, protein have leucine in it, and you're looking to get about half from that, and um, the beef was one of them, 
Well, this is beef protein. So it's awesome that Keto Chow has come out with an offering, a sweet offering that's made out of beef protein. And I, I, don't, I don't know how they get this kind of te texture and flavor based on beef protein, but boy, does it work. And so here's a way to, to, to incorporate that into the protein sparing modified fast. So there you go. Um, protein sparing modified fast egg white pudding made with keto chow core. Okay. Uh, that's all I've got for you.